So what is it? One, two, three. Oh, you just say nothing, didn't I? Nothing like you. Connect your life to people who are nothing like you. Remember? We talked about if you do the other way, you say only me and my group, people who look like me, people who talk like me, people who think like me, people who act like me, me and my group, that's the only people I'm going to be friends with. Right? That's the kind of the thinking that makes the world go like this. And what goes like this? A toilet. A toilet. That's right. And somebody said last time a tornado. And I said either way, it, it all makes a mess. Right? So, are you ready for the story? Yes. Once upon a time, in a galaxy far, far away, <laughs> just kidding, not that story. That story's coming out, coming to a theater near you this summer. Okay, once upon a time, somewhere, someplace, there was a high, high wall. It was as tall as this building. No, it was two of this building tall. It was so high. And it was as wide as this building was so thick. And it went as far as you could see that way. Can you see it? And it went as far as you could see that way. And there was no way around it. And people were living on this side. And people were living on this side. Now the people on this side of the wall, they were going nuts. They'd go around all day long with their fingers in their ears, going like this. I can't hear you, and sing a song or something, right? So that they couldn't hear, and they would take their ear pods, or their iPods, and put in their earbuds in, and turn the music up as loud as they could, so they couldn't hear, or they'd turn up Netflix and keep watching it, so that they couldn't hear, you know what they were trying to not hear? They were trying to not hear sounds coming from this side of the wall. Because from this side of the wall, there were sounds of people going, Help us! Help! We're sick! We're starving! We're so hungry! Somebody do something! We need help! 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 And the people on this side, oh, I was making them crazy! Because they, they, they heard those cries, but they couldn't do anything because of the wall. Now, what did that say about their hearts? Does that mean they have good hearts or bad hearts? What do you think? Bad hearts. You think bad hearts? It was making them crazy, and that shows that they cared, right? If they really had bad hearts, they would have been like this. Ha <laughs> ha, people hurting over there, don't care. I have a stuff I need on this side. Poor suckers. Oh well, it's gonna be going on with my life. And it wouldn't have bothered them, right? But they had good hearts. So it was making them crazy because they didn't know how to get past that wall, even though they wanted to. So they didn't know what they were gonna do. But one day, someone came around from way over there. Where the sun comes up, they saw someone coming. You know how when the sun starts coming towards you, they get bigger and bigger and bigger like this? Someone was coming across the field, walking across the field like this. That was because it was dressed in a long cloak, like a Jedi. But not a Jedi. Just like a Jedi. So here comes someone walking getting closer and closer in the long cloak. And when the person got closer, they looked and they could see, ah, we know that person, that person's been here before. You know who it was? It was the teacher. Not those teachers, but a teacher. The teacher. And the teacher had been there before. And they were glad when they saw that it was the teacher because the teacher always brought wisdom. You know what wisdom means? What's wisdom? Good ideas that make things better. Right? That's what wisdom is. Good ideas that change the situation. Right? And they knew the teacher brought that. So the teacher was getting closer and closer and they started to feel relieved. Well, let's go to the teacher and see what she has to tell us. And as they got closer to the teacher, they could see that she had something in her hands. In this hand, she had a hammer. In this hand, she had a, a pickaxe. Now everyone knows what a pickaxe is because of Minecraft, right? Yeah. Anyway, what was in this hand? The hammer. What was in this hand? A pickaxe. Okay, and the teacher held out the tools and she started to say one of those teachery things. Now I was a teacher for 15 years. I know about these teachery things. Sometimes teachers say things that make you go, huh? Right? Say something and you go, huh? What does she mean by that? 
And you know what? I'll tell you a secret, because I was a teacher too. Mm. Teachers do that on purpose. You know why they do it on purpose? Because they want you to use your brains. Well, you think, why should you be always using my brain? Use your own brain, right? So they say something that makes you go, I don't know, what does that mean? How does that work? What's going on? That's what this teacher said. So she said one of those teachery things. Here's what she said. You ready? Yeah. Can you handle this? Yes. I'll lay it on you. She said, use these tools to fix the problems that poverty has brought here. What's poverty mean? What? Homeless, poor, yeah. Basically, poverty means when you don't have enough. When you don't have enough of something, that's poverty. So the teacher said, use these tools to solve the problems, to fix the problems that poverty has brought here. And she was saying more, she, but they were, the people were already like, oh yeah, we get it, we get it. And so they grabbed the tools out of her hands and they took off towards the wall because they figured, oh yeah, we know what you mean. We don't even have to finish. And she was still speaking and the people were running back to the walls. And they hit, hit, got to the walls and they took the hammer and they found a bunch of pieces of wood and they put those pieces of wood together, put them all together into ladders. And they put ladders all down the wall, as high as the wall that you climb way up on there, long ladders. And then they took the pickaxe and they started digging holes, digging lines of holes all down the wall, all kinds of holes. And they dug the holes bigger and bigger and got under the wall, right? So then they went up the ladders with medical equipment, medical help and band-aids and all the stuff that you need to keep you healthy, lowered that down and they put food into the holes and they pushed it down in the holes and up the other side and they gave food to people who needed it. And you know what happened? Things on this side of the wall got a lot better. It wasn't perfect, but lots of people were helped. Lots of lives were changed. People in this side of the wall wasn't nearly as much help, help anymore. So the people on this side of the wall felt pretty good about that, and they gave themselves a pat on the back. Your teachers say that sometimes? Yeah. Give yourselves a pat on the back, and they did. Well done, selves. But then one day, what happened? From way over there where the sun comes up, we saw someone coming. I think you know who. The Jedi, <laughs> but not a Jedi. The Jedi, but not a Jedi, but yeah, kind of. So way over there, getting bigger and bigger, coming closer and closer. The teacher was coming back again. And they were kind of happy, because they wanted, oh, very happy, they wanted to show the teacher what they did. But their happiness turned a little bit into bugness. Or a little bit, they got a little bit angry when they could see teacher's face because the teacher's face they expected the teacher's face to look like this right but that wasn't the face that the teacher was wearing now it wasn't it wasn't this face it wasn't it wasn't that face but it wasn't this face it was this face what's that face mean yeah is that face you guys study French Yes. Somebody say French. What's that face in French? That this one. Uh, come see, come saw. Yeah. You know what? I lived in Japan for ten years. There's a word for it in Japanese too. You know what it is? It's it's this mama. It's the mama face. Every language has one of those words that means sorta of okay, not exactly what I was thinking, but that'll do. And the people when they saw that. They were kind of bugged because they said, teacher, what's the matter with you? Can't you see we did all this good stuff? We dug the holes and we made the ladders and people's lives are better. And why are you not giving us this face? And you're giving us this face. What's up with that? And that's when the teacher said another one of those teachery things. One of those things that made all the people go, and? And maybe it's going to make you do the same thing. Maybe when you hear this, you're going to go, eh, lots of kids do. But that's good. You know why? Because I want you to use your brains. Yeah. You might even go home today going, eh, what do you mean about that? Maybe I'm going to have to ask the teacher tomorrow, and we're going to talk about it. I hope that happens, because that means, that'll mean that you're really using your brains. So here was, here's what it is. Are you ready for this? Yes. First, the teacher said, 
yeah, okay. But I gave, I gave you those tools so that you could, what? So you could tear down the wall, right? I gave you those tools so you could tear down the wall. And then the teacher said the thing that made everybody go, huh? And this is what she said. I lay it on you. Are you ready? Yeah. Prepared for this? Yeah. Here's what the teacher said. The teacher said, by doing it this way, you only fixed problems on this side of the wall. You only fixed the problems on this side of the wall. Huh? What? What? What did the teacher mean? What did the teacher mean by that? What do you think? Um, I think if, like he's saying, if they break down the wall, um, they can be friends with the people on the other side. Whoa, there's an interesting wise man right there. That's a, that's a powerful idea. Did you hear what he said? Yeah. What he said kind of sounded like this, right? What's step one to change in the world? Connect your life to people who are not like you. How do you do that when there's a big wall there? You can't, right? You can't connect to the people on the other side when there's a big wall. Because here's the thing. Sometimes when we want to be generous, you know what it means to be generous? We want to give stuff. Actually, you guys did it just today. You showed good hearts, right? Just like we said before. Because you, you heard cries from the other side, and you said, you know what, we're going to bring down, we're going to take some of our stuff, and we're going to toss it over the wall. That's a starting point. That's the first step. That's the first step in generosity. But it doesn't stop there. Because the next step in generosity is when you say, you know what, now that I threw some stuff over the wall, I'm connected with the people on the other side of the wall. Now we've got to tear down that wall. Because when you tear down that wall, something better happens. Something, something even bigger. It's what happens when two hearts connect. When we connect heart to heart, and you start to know what each other needs, it's, it gets like this. You're not just helping them, they're helping you. You find out, wow, they had weak spots that they needed help with, but when you connect heart to heart, you find out, I have weak spots too that I needed help with. Because everybody's some part strong and some part weak, right? Everybody's got strong parts and weak parts, and when we come together, we find out, wow, I fixed them, but they fixed me. And you guys just started that just today, right? The thing that I found in my